What is going on YouTube? I'm going back to Texas today, headed to the airport right now. Uh, this time I'm just gonna do some lighting and changing out his skimmers. Uh, super basic. Honestly, I could probably finish all the work tonight. Uh, I'm gonna be there Wednesday through Friday. Um, let's go to Texas. <laughs> What's up guys? I finally made it to Dallas. I've actually already started, it's the next day. I didn't record, I was super tired and honestly I didn't, I just didn't record. Uh, but what I did was I changed out all these lights. These were three uh, Hydra 64s and now it is four XR13, XR15 Pro Gen 6s. Um, yeah, and now I'm actually making the lid. So this is the Red Sea DIY kit. If you don't know, it's a pain in the neck. But so this tank, we want to do some really nice tile fish, some nice wrasses, stuff that's going to obviously jump out the tank. The Red Sea 1000 does have this lip on it, but we just want to take some extra precaution and get a lid on there. Alrighty, guys, it's been about three weeks and we are back in Texas. Uh, I'm flying out here a lot now, um, but there's an insane, insane coral pack coming tomorrow for this tank, uh, as well as I'm setting up a mixing station for them. Um, but let's take it out real quick. So we do have a little cyano, pretty normal in a new tank. Forbes, gold flake. Uh, this tank's really still pretty new. I gotta adjust the power heads a little bit, but all in all looks pretty clean. But this is what I just love so much. There is the zebra tang, apparently just eating like a monster. Those black bars are just ridiculous. It's nighttime here, but here's the other tank. Got the gem in the yellow, all the coral is kind of closed up right now. But I will show you guys that better tomorrow when all the lights are on and we get the coral box and do an old unboxing. I'll see you in the morning. What is up guys? It is the next morning. You can see the lights are on. All the fish. Let's go check out the other tank. So last time I redid the rock work and added a bunch of coral. It's out of the way. And most of the shipment that is coming today is gonna to be going into this tank. It's gonna make the tank look so much more full. Um, yeah, here it is, a big box of coral, let's open it up. So we got all the packing units, there's a lot of coral in here, let's take out this first. This is stuff that was ordered on the website, so you got the labels all on there, super cool. Alright, so first coral is going to be an acro, it's a Tyree Pink Lemonade, one of the nicest acros, it's got really nice yellows in it, uh, but look at the packaging on it has all, you know, the name of it, you know, where it's gonna go in the tank. If you even have questions where you can get it uh, or where you can have those answered, like super, super high quality packing. So I'm gonna take everything out of the box, lay it out on the ground just so you can see how much is in this order. But we're gonna get everything in the dip. I mean, this whole order is like over 30 grand. I mean, this is a massive, massive order with some really cool pieces. Um, I can't wait to see everything in the tank, but let's check out the tank right now as the lights are on. That is a lot of coral. So two big bags and then a whole lot of frags, pretty much all going into this tank except for one piece that's gonna go in the big tank just to see how it's at. I didn't bring my blue filter with me, but everything is super happy. Look at the Ghani extension. Like I said, I don't have my filter with me, so it's really hard to tell. But this tank is gonna be awesome. I wanna get the rock work a little higher so it gets some more stuff on the sides, but it's looking awesome right now. All right, now let's get everything into the bucket and we're gonna dip everything. There is so much coral in that box. It's almost a full bucket. We still have one more to go. It's a torch, so I don't wanna put it in there while it stings everything. A couple acros, big low boy hammer. Now we're gonna dip everything for about five minutes and then we're gonna get it in the tank. So I said I was gonna show you guys the tank with everything in there, but I'd rather just show it when everything's open and happy because that's gonna look a lot better than everything really closed up. So right now I'm actually headed to Ace Hardware. We're putting in the water mixing station. So I got a lot of stuff to go buy. 
All right, leaving Ace Hardware now. There's PVC in the back. Let's go get some gluing done. All right, so this is what I got done so far. Absolutely nothing. But come over here. Everything under the sink is up and going. Got the tee off and the drain saddle. Come over here. Going behind the fridge. These lines are gonna run across in those jugs or mixing stations like right here. Slowly but surely. All right, this is what I got so far. It's been taking a while because trying to get those through the whole wall was a nightmare. But, so got it going out. The T's gonna go into the pump. Pump's gonna come up, up through here and down in. Or, you open up the valve, it's gonna come out. Uh, this is eventually gonna go around and there's gonna be a custom sump for that custom tank right there. So that tank we just put all that coral in, which actually, let's go check on that right now, but that's getting a custom sump over there that we're going through the wall with. It's gonna look absolutely awesome. But let's look at the coral opened up now. And it's been a bit. I just actually went swimming in the pool. It is so hot here in Texas. It's like 105. I got a brand new shirt on and it's already sweating. But if you can see behind me, I've done a little bit of work. Let's go check it out. So I got the RODI mounted up there. Again, the hose is coming through the wall. Still got a little bit of plumbing to do. I got to get some different parts for this pump because unfortunately all pumps make European brand sizes, which just don't fit. Zoom out a little bit, but there we go. So that's gonna all come out in here. And I think it looks looking pretty good. So close to be finished, but I just gotta, just gotta sit underneath this fan for a bit. It is so freaking hot here. And just like that, we got RO water. Now again, the goal is to cook any here, so go in there. But like I said, we don't have the pump going right now. So I'm not gonna do that yet, but at least we have RO water. It's time to go eat some food because it is hot. I'm sweating, um, but all good. What's up guys? It's been about two weeks now and I'm back here in Texas, finally getting this water mixing station done. Uh, got a little bit of a flood last time. The RO line went through the wall and got punctured by a nail in there. Totally just freak thing. But uh, gonna get this bad boy done today uh, and gonna get it super rigged up so it's super easy for the client to do all his uh, water changes. All right, let's check out the tank real quick. You can see there's a door missing. We're actually getting a custom cabinet to go here, which is gonna hold the auto top off reservoir. But if the hose, what's the hose for? I'll show you. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Comes all the way through here. And there she is. Let's zoom out. Bam. So this is the water mixing station. So we have our fresh water set up. RODI is making right now, going into here, be able to pump it in, up, in, over, yeah. So that hose is rigged up to the pump, so that way whenever you wanna do the water change on the big reefer, you can just open that up and it'll send salt water all the way. You can also do fresh water, send fresh water all the way over. Um, just a really nice automated, well, not 100% automated, but it's gonna make water changes so much easier for this tank, no lugging buckets, uh, just opening a couple of valves and calling it a day. So something I've also done since I've been here was we just added this cabinet underneath there is gonna be an auto top off reservoir because there's been no auto top off on this tank since it's been set up. So he's just been manually pouring in, but we finally got that in there. Uh, let me show you real quick. So you got the Apex ATK running through the back and then down through. There's the FMM and then there's a float back there. So the tank, the cabinet was made to look like an extension of the tank. 
Um, I think it came out pretty nice. Alrighty guys, I'm finally back home. It has been a long couple trips, but I'm back home. Everything's set up, running smoothly now, and I'm going to bed. Well, first I'm cooking dinner right now, then I'm gonna go to bed, and I'm actually headed back to Texas in three weeks to hook up that custom sump I was telling you guys about. And before that, I'm actually going to Houston to look at just an insane aquarium. Um, another customer flying me out to go look at it. It is a massive 800 gallon peninsula tank. I'm so excited for it. I can't wait to show you guys. And before that, Macna is this week. So if you're gonna be in Milwaukee, make sure you come see me on Friday. I will be there filming. Uh, come say hi, I'd like to meet some of you guys. Um, but I'll be in Macna. But for now, comment, rate, subscribe if you like what you see. If you wanna see all these big tanks that I take care of, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.